Hello there friends and welcome to Cosmo Dread. I'm playing today on my Oculus Quest 2 wirelessly using virtual desktop and Viport Infinity. So as I said I would after the show the other night I returned to the Steam VR version to record a second impressions video if you will. But before I could get that uploaded I learned about this that the game was available on day one on Viport Infinity so I thought you know it'd be a cool thing to do in the name of science to check it out on Infinity we checked it out on Quest or Roots checked it out on Quest I checked it out on Steam VR let's see if uh, the Infinity version is any different but you know uh, I don't think it's going to be because you know I, I uninstalled the Steam VR version written re-downloaded it Transfer from Viport at coming back into the game now and I'm noticing my progress from the Steam VR version is still right here so I think that you know after all of that that at the end of the day we're, we're still checking out the Steam VR version which is cool because you know some people worry about the, the Viport versions being different and this just goes to show that they're not this is the Steam VR version of the game so that's pretty awesome anyway uh, really cool game looking forward to uh, showing it to you guys and with that said let's quit jibber jabbering and get in here and play as always uh, you have to start a new game there is no progress saved in this uh, if you're going to beat this game you're going to play through it start to finish and with it being a, a roguelike what that means is that every time you play the map be different the items are going to be different the enemies are going to be different And here we are. So what I've noticed across my different, my, my few different playthroughs of the game so far is that uh, you can tell a lot about what kind of run you're going to have by the items on the first table. So right off the bat, I can see that we have an oxygen canister, which is a common thing to get. What's not so common is this here pistol which is awesome because it's much more effective than the uh, crossbow so I'm glad to have that Just a little more ammo and that's it now sometimes uh, I've noticed that you will get the blue key card on you know just sitting right on the table when you first spawn that has happened uh, a time or two for me um, now I've noticed watching people's oculus quest gameplays that it's much more common for them and those guys uh, are even getting data drives on the table to begin with which I've never ever found a data drive on this table anyway um, as I'm sure you guys already know by now, uh, this game is much better looking on Steam VR than it is on Oculus Quest or even Oculus Quest 2, uh, mainly due to these uh, awesome lighting effects, dynamic shadows, and particle effects, giving the game much more 3D depth. And uh, see, check check the shadows. I mean, that's a pretty big deal to have something like that in a VR game. It makes a, a pretty big difference with immersion. Anyway, let's get in here and see what we can find. See what kind of... Uh, what kind of hand we've drawn. Because when you're playing a roguelike game, 
so much of it it's really luck of the draw you know I didn't think that these tentacle things could hurt you but I, the last time I played I had one of these really long ones stick out and smack me in the face you know who loves it when long ones stick out and smack them in the face anyway uh whoa Here's something angry, and it gives me uh, a bit of apprehension because on more than one occasion, I've been killed by a polypoid, or a polypod, polypoid, uh, which are passive if you don't get close to them. But uh, there's been a time or two that I haven't even, you know, they've killed me and I didn't even see them. Like, I didn't even know I was near anything and all of a sudden I'm dead. And the game says, you got killed by a polypoid. And I say, shenanigans. Yeah, so, so far so good. Finding ammo and air, which is what you want. What I really want, though, is to find some more data drives. Like, I haven't had any luck finding those things at all. I found one. No, I found two on my initial playthrough. I haven't seen one since then. Alright, before we go this way, I want to go back here and grab this battery. It always helps to have one on you if you can uh, spare the space to carry it. Right now we can. Probably won't be the case shortly, but right now we've got room to carry a battery. And this stuff sounds nasty. You can see it growing on the wall. Disgusting. So at heart, this game is an exploration game. And as you guys know, uh, exploring and, and horror, these are my, uh, these are right down my alley. So I'm really, I'm really am digging this game. And I know I reported on the show the other day that my initial experience, you know, I made it fairly deep into the objectives without seeing many enemies. It was a rather slow experience. Well, upon returning to the game, uh, for the uh, second impressions video, which I think, I'm, again, I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to let the patrons have that. Uh, not so slow ran into a bunch of enemies new ones even that I hadn't seen before and uh, got jacked up pretty quick Be careful, you don't know what you're going to get anytime you have one of these things. Class B emergency has been automatically reported to the dispatch center. See, it's a class B emergency. He said it. You don't know what you're going to get when you open one of these doors. Could be a beautiful wonderland. 
could be your imminent death. All right, I see my key card over there, which is cool. Just a piece of an arm, I think. And a foot. Too bad it won't let me pick it up. I would uh, add it to my collection. Well, there's a data drive here. Or, I'm sorry, uh, a terminal that you can use data drives in. But, uh, no data drives for me to put in it. Again, those have been very scarce in my experience. Now listen, listen to these sound effects. This ambient noise. This is something that Dreadhaws did so well. Really uh, builds tension, keeps you on the edge of your seat if you're sitting down. Alright, I don't think there's anything else in here to, to be had, unfortunately. Uh, let's go see what else there is to see. I guess we need to go back to the blue door, right? You know, this little map on your wrist here it doesn't seem like much at first it's quite helpful uh, uh, once you get into this thing you'll be glad to have it I assure you well, so here we are back to the blue door card there it is let's take a step back here and get some oxygen beautiful All right, here we are uh, wow look at that Big, uh, big piece of leg sitting on the kitchen table here. I want to be careful. The first time I played ever, I got killed in this room by a polypod, polypoid, whatever. So we want to be careful about that. We need to find a spot. To, uh, there it is. To put the battery. Oh, I think there's something close. It sounds like there's something close. Alright. Alright, now let there be light beautiful so here's the fabrication machine and I, I really think that it was here all along and that I just didn't see it the first time I played the game because it was dark and when you don't have the battery in the thing over there you, you tend to miss things like this when they're powered down you know it's obvious now that this thing is here and all you gotta do is kinda just toss things into it and it works really uh, intuitively. I wonder if I can toss this bleeding spleen in there. 
swear it sounds like there's something behind this door. Let's uh let's get a look around really quickly before we decide which direction we're gonna go first. Every other time I've played this, these tables have had all kinds of items for uh, crafting on them. Now they just have human body parts. Absolutely nothing useful, or almost, almost nothing. I mean, we do have cups and foods and stuff like that. What I'm kind of curious about is whether or not the items that you collect for crafting and fabricating uh, fabricating useful items do those components that you collect remain in the fabricator across different gameplays and that's what we're about to find out so I should have one no, so you don't get to keep any of it. I would have had one plastics in here if that were the case. So what we're gonna do is toss that in there, toss that in there, and uh, this battery. We'll toss that in there. And now. We're in pretty good shape. We really just need some uh, chemicals. And we could uh, fabricate one of these oxygen canisters. If we need to. Which we don't really need to, but it was going to be a Attention. pretty cool. Oxygen concentration below minimum levels. It is recommended you make use of emergency oxygen canisters. As if on cue, right? Now, there's something angry behind the, the red door. But I don't have the red key. You know, I actually found the red key in this room once. I don't even see the green door anywhere. Like, where the hell's the green door even at? So that's it. Literally two items for crafting in this room. One locked door, three unlocked doors. So where do we start? Uh, um. Yeah, I know we need to. So I've only got one oxygen bottle left and I'm using it right now, so it would probably be a good idea to fabricate one of those if I could. <laughs> All right. We need to be a bit more careful now. Oh, there is definitely something behind that door. You hear that? Multiple monsters. That is a bad omen friends look at their nasty feet get some Dr. Shoals bro come on all right check these things out guys these are grotesque you know when I did my little uh, review discussion or first impressions discussion of the game I, I had yet to see these things with their line of eyeballs and their rib cages made of fingers and teeth. Absolutely grotesque. Nasty looking things. I love that. That's one of the things I love the most about this game is the uh, the creatures. There's some nasty looking things, man. Did it get back up? How did it get back up, man? I'm 
calling shenanigans on that one. Did I respawn it just by walking away from it? Or do they just live on? Makes me want to sit here and stare at it until it uh, dissipates. You know, we're just so lucky that we have the pistol right now because if we didn't have that pistol, we'd be so dicked. Takes like four or five shots from the crossbow. It looks like at least it didn't get back up this time. No, I think it's. You know, they're still down. <laughs> I'm nervous now. I don't want to turn my back to it. Alright. Another one of these batteries. Oh, what the? Already, jeez. I mean, come on, man. How many times do I have to kill these things? All right, so here's some reward for our struggle. What the hell was that? Oh, look at all these body parts in here, dude. It just continues to be just. Body part after body part everywhere. What? Where? Again? They're going to give me all this ammo, bro. Close the door. I have no doubt that this game is going to make me pop my way back through those things again. Which I don't know why. They, they're supposed to die. I've killed them before. They just... They disappear after you kill them. They're supposed to. I'm gonna get some lights on in this place. And see if I can find something good, actually. Something to help. My next playthrough... that where'd it go what was it scrap metal need some uh, chemicals what I need oh it's a head hadn't found a head yet sooner do I find an extra bottle then it becomes not extra anymore all right well I guess we gotta move on oh there's another fuel cell I just found one I found another one I mean, that's awesome I've never found two of them in the same playthrough yet. I've got two of them before I even made it to the uh, place to leave them. Which is cool, but it's also very uh, taxing on uh, on your inventory. So I kept that calculator because it uh, it had plastics. I'll need one more plastics to uh, fabricate an air bottle. Assuming I make it back to the fabrication machine. Which is not a given. I 
I'm hoping I can find a way around and not have to go through those guys again. I've already wasted two clips on those dudes. And the multimeter, that's even better than the calculator. When I say better, I mean it's got more, it breaks down into more components than just the, uh, Why is that coming up and on its own? I don't think I've had a door open itself for me before. There's stuff in here. I see a air. Right, I'm gonna need a battery before I even go in there. I have a feeling there's going to be something in there that I want to have to fight. I need to take a battery with me. It's too dark and scary, man. I don't want to go in there. Now yeah, there's a battery. Alright. So now I got my nightlight. Mommy, I can go to bed. But I don't wanna you check under the bed for me. See, I told you there was gonna be enemies in there. Die already. Is it dead? Keep putting bullets in it and it's like it's glitched into the wall. Unknown biological compounds outside of containment facilities. I'm afraid to leave Class it. Class B emergency has been automatically reported to the dispatch center. The way those other guys just resurrected on me, I'm afraid this is going to do the same. some much needed health I'll take that I wish these doors would quit opening themselves I'm not ready bro oh there's the place to put the battery Need a little bit of light anyway Okay, there it goes. That's what's supposed to happen when you kill things. You go, Psh. or maybe it's the light. Maybe the light's making them do that. All right, so there's definitely enemies in there. All right, and I'm out of freaking air already. I'm gonna get over here and get this before I die. I don't like being down to no air. This is not a good thing. Ah, there's my chemicals that I need. Mm. So we'll have at least one more air if we make it back to the fabricator. What is that? Some more chemicals there, huh? I'll take it. This particular playthrough has been a bit more greedy when it comes to uh, the air bottles. Right, so, which way do we want to go, huh? I think it was in there that we 
we know there's something in there. Which might mean that there's something good in there too though, right? Three shots. Hear how the, the sounds change when I open that door? What's in here? I know there's something in here. Can't see what you are, but I see that you're there. What's well, another one of these things? It is the light. The light burns them. Oh, now all of a sudden those batteries are a lot more valuable, aren't they? We're gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit or we're gonna run out of oxygen. So. This is such a winding map. Listen to the sound. It's telling me that there's something here. I don't know what it is. What is this thing? Shotgun. Shotgun? Did you say shotgun? Oh, please let me find a shotgun. They killed me. Bastards. Three of them got me in the corner. Snuck up behind me even. A cephamorph killed you. They're vulnerable if you aim at their heads. Yeah, I killed all of them. I guess it's not good enough, huh? Right. Fifteen enemies killed. Five sixty damage dealt. Half an hour, 22% of the map explored. That's how it goes. I felt like we were really about to make some progress, man. Damn it. I was desperate. I let my guard down and started pushing a little harder than I normally would because I was so low on air. All right, we'll do one more run. One more run, win, lose, or draw. If I die in five minutes, you know, great. If I die in an hour, great. But uh, we're gonna give it one more shot. I can't go out like that. By the way, I've been uh, super impressed, you know, triply so. Not only have I been impressed with this game and impressed with Viport Infinity for having games like this on launch, also impressed with the performance of my virtual desktop. Virtual desktop has been lawless the whole time I've played this game. I had some issues getting it to run on Link. No issues at all getting this to run on virtual desktop. Uh-oh, friends. I see a new weapon. Lightning gun. Delivers electrical current. Pump the lever to recharge. Does that mean this has unlimited ammo? Oh, I have unlimited ammo, friends. That's awesome. 
right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and collect some plastics because we know we're gonna need them. Take that bottle. And what I'm doing here is just collecting what I know to be components for these air bottles. I need chemicals and plastics. Because that's the only schematic I have ever found was for air bottles. One day I'll find another. And then three guys will get me in the corner and have their way. You know who loves it when three guys get them in the corner and have their way? Not me. Yes, yes, I see. I got to reach the courtyard. Anybody want to come and get some of this badass electricity gun? Because I will indulge you. Right, so there's a good fully charged battery in here. You need to not forget that. Books. Books. Apparently people in space like to read books. Maybe that's how they got to space in the first place. Like they make you read books. I hear there are words in there. But I wouldn't know. Alright, here's some chemicals. Here's the blue key card. For sure need that. So always good if you're gonna get plastics, grab some stuff that has uh, something else with it. So like for example, this cup, pretty useless because. By the way, what is this Canada? That's a cup. Now this says it's a bowl. It's like the kind of weird Canadian logic where they call bacon ham, or vice versa. They call ham bacon. Alright. What is that, a Canadian bowl? <laughs> it's called a cup here, eh? Alright, so. Plenty of plastics now. We're just pretty much going to pick up chemicals as we find them. And we're going to take this battery. It kills those evil monsters. All right, so there's a blue door. Let's see here. And that last playthrough was going so well. It's so unfortunate that it got cut short the way it did. Attention, an emergency has been reported. Please follow the instructions. Of an emergency's been reported. Did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? An emergency. All right. Well, before we go any further here. Because we're at the courtyard now. I think it would be prudent to go into the courtyard and drop off all of these components that we've picked up. Free our inventory spaces before we search any further. Oh, I'm upstairs. That's the first time the game's ever started me upstairs. That's weird. Alright, 
it so they've got the battery on already in for us here and the fabrication machine ready to go so let's see here calculator go away hey wait a minute you're supposed to Supposed to zap my calculator, man. Why is it not zapping my calculator? Do I have to click the bottle first? Yeah, that's what's up. Nothing. I need this damn uh, oxygen canister. By the way, how handy is it to have a, a gun that doesn't need ammo? I mean, it's pretty priceless with, with regards to your inventory slots. Like not having to carry ammo in there, that is a big deal. Alright, so... Before we go forward... You know, I don't want to go too far forward before we fully flesh out where we're coming from, right? Lots of stuff on the Attention. table over oxygen here. Oxygen concentration below minimum levels. It is recommended you make use of emergency oxygen canisters. Yeah, that's what we're working on, bro. Still, I feel like these data drive uh, terminals are just taunting me. Like, haha, you don't have any uh, schematics. So we've got one bottle of oxygen. I think we need to get a move on. This is where we came from, correct? Yes. All right. So the idea here is we're going to search a bit. I need a hand or a foot. Well, there's something handy. Something over here, definitely. Something in the room. For sure. What it is, I don't know. Is there a polypod somewhere? Maybe it's in the next room, but I swear it's the other. Like it was in this room. Many times as I've died, the things I didn't see, I'm not comfortable in here. <laughs> yeah. Definitely going to take that detergent. I'm going to take this battery as well.
So is there no outlet in this room? There is no outlet in this room. So we need to go back the other way. Look at that. Just dancing over there by itself. Alright, so is that the way we've been? It is. We need to go... Which way do we need to go? This is the way we need to go. Well, no. In this way, right? I we just made a big circle. And we're right back to where we started. This is the initial room. So, I think we've exhausted. our options outside of the uh, courtyard free courtyard if you will Do we just need to get on out of here get on out of here go on now get all right so we're back think that we can fabricate another air bottle too while we're here and so we've got yeah we got enough to do another one Useful. All right, and we're gonna just start with these corridors now. Did we even find any key doors in here? And then I think they're all just regular doors. There's another upstairs door. Even this is not a key door, is it? Well, I think we're going to start upstairs because we... I mean, we're going to start searching upstairs because we initially spawned upstairs. So, might as well take it a floor at a time, Attention right? unknown biological compounds outside of containment facilities. Class B emergency has been automatically reported to the dispatch center. Has it really? that what is that noise is that the uh, the entity if you will oh look some kind of a force field here get me some O2 going on so here's what's going on people from what I can gather the Moss Corporation uh, acted upon the recent discovery of uh, extraterrestrial life and uh, as a private enterprise decided to come up here and study an extraterrestrial entity. But it was massive. It was giant. They got too close. And as you can see, things went wrong. That's pretty much what I've gathered so far about what's happening here. I'm sure there's much more to it than that. But on a very basic level, at least we understand the situation. Well, there's something here. Look like that.
noise maker. It plays a noisy sound that can attract creatures. Ooh, whatever, man. Better than nothing, I guess. Completed fuel cell that's already been used. I wonder if there's a way to like recharge the depleted fuel cells. You know, it wouldn't hurt to carry it with me until I need the inventory spot. More books. Appalling. Too many books. Oh! We found the red key. We might actually make some progress if we can manage to stay alive. And cue the monster noises as soon as I say it. Well, there you go, friends. That's how you find the red key card. Guess we need to keep going that way. Uh, there is going to be biological creatures in this room. I need to get the lights on quickly. Where's the battery bay? Before they kill me, where are they at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? This is not a good situation. There it is. I was wrong. There's some chemicals. And some more. Some servers. Oh, that's that thing. Attention, an emergency has been reported. Please follow the instructions of the security personnel and proceed to your designated safe area. They hit me. Takes too long to put this thing back up. Hey, you prick! Get the hell out of here, man. Is that a. Did I kill it? I think I killed it. Hell yeah. That's what he gets. Don't mess with me. Alright, so which way to go? Either way, I guess. I think that way is going to have a lot more to it. Just by looking at the map, so we're gonna go this way first. This looks like it could just be a single room. Yeah, 
and it is indeed just a single room. Oh, ho, ho. beautiful. Hoping to find a data drive in here, but can't find that, you know. Air's pretty good too. Oh, so that's that. the way we're going. Yep, we have the fucking door open. Attention, oxygen concentration below minimum levels. It is recommended you make use of emergency oxygen canisters. more than one hour. of the map explored a lot fewer enemies I killed one and that was that thing in the wall you know fabricated two items which is more than normal actually so yeah very different gameplay every time you go in now what amazed me initially was that this was a $15 game you know even without having played very much of it on the show I mean, I said 20 to 25 dollars. Root said 20 easy. This is a 15 dollar game. Amazing. What's even more amazing is that this thing is on Viport Infinity. From the day it launched, it's been on Viport Infinity. So if you're subscribed to that, you're good. You know, you can play this right now. And as you can see, it's the Steam copy. It's it's not even a different game file it has all of my save information shuttle victor juliet rcs at 50 meters limited as it may be from my steam playthrough so it's obviously the same copy of the game so uh yeah if you guys got infinity check it out especially if you like this kind of exploration roguelike game uh and you know heavy creep factor uh you know Anyway, check it out. $15 on Steam, Oculus Quest Store, Oculus Rift Store, and uh, included with five port and traffic infinity. inbound in Ectris. Be aware EVA scheduled in Sector 6 in one hour. Anyway, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe, click the bell, click the thumbs up. If you see anything else, click it. Unless it's an ad, don't click on that. 
anyway, with that said, friends, we'd like to thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you another day for another game. Thanks again. Bye.